Welcome back, folks. Iran is slowly pushing towards a nuclear arsenal. We knew they always were, and this is exactly why you do not enter an agreement with a regime like this. But the world's largest state sponsor of terror knows they have a weakling in the White House. His name, of course, is Joe Biden. No longer will they have to face the maximum pressure from the President Trump himself. And they're ready to take advantage. Just listen to Iran's foreign minister, Mohammad Javid Zarif, earlier today. Watch. If we are uh, away from uh, the strict limitations of the of the nuclear agreement, it's because the United States tried to impose a full economic war on Iran. Now, it stops that. Mm -hmm. We will go back into full compliance. <sighs> Look, this is dangerous stuff. That almost makes me want to laugh listening to him. Who would believe that man? This comes after Biden's Secretary of State, Tony Blinken, warned that Iran is just weeks away from producing enough material to make a bomb. Blinken wants us to believe that Iran will only stop if the restraints put in place during the 2015 Iran nuclear deal are put back in place. This is a joke. Because even when that deal was in place, they never stopped working towards a bomb. Never. So you see what is happening here. Biden and his Obama lackeys are already up to their old tricks, using fear to get us quickly back into this disastrous deal. And Iran is waiting in excitement. That should tell you all you need to know. Joining me now, former White House advisor for President Trump and his administration, host of America First on Salem Radio, our good friend Dr. Sebastian Gorka is with us. And please welcome former CIA analyst and chief of staff for President Trump's National Security Council, Fred Flights is also here. Both of you, welcome. Thanks, Rod. So, Fred, you just wrote a piece for National Review. Um, this is a joke that they're even considering going back, but we knew all along this is what they want to do. What is their end game here? Well, it was a weak and flawed deal that my colleague, uh, Dr. Gurkha, helped the president withdraw from, President Trump. We know Iran was cheating on it. Israel proved that in 2018 with documents it stole from, from the Iranians. The Iranians now have prerequisites to start nuclear talks. We have to drop all sanctions first. And then Iran wants to sue us over President Trump's sanctions. Basically, Iran never stopped pursuing nuclear weapons. They will accelerate their nuclear program if Biden rejoins the deal. And unfortunately, he is determined to do so. Yeah. Um, Dr. Gorka, you know, a a as Fred just said, you helped withdraw from this deal. In your mind, what does going back into it mean? Yeah, thanks, Fred, for that, that reminder. One of the proudest moments in my life was when the president invited me and Steve Bannon into the Oval Office. He, he described us as, as his heavies, and we had to debate in front of swamp creatures like H.R. McMaster and Rex Tillerson <laughs> about whether or not we should stay in the Iran deal. And Steve and I said, we've got to get out of it right away. The president eventually sided with our analysis, and that's what happened. But listen, you just played Sharif's video. Oh, oh, we'll get back in compliance. What, the kind of compliance when you had Soleimani running around the Middle East, planning the deaths of hundreds of U.S. citizens until Donald Trump how shall I put this, uh, neutralize that problem. This, this is the regime, let's be clear. The, the Biden-Obama regime gave $140 billion back to Iran, as well as pallets of cash, which is at the time that this is the greatest state sponsor of terrorism in the world. You said it in the beginning, Grant. We have a weakling in the White House, a doddering old man, and the murderous mullahs are going to exploit that mercilessly. Yeah. And Fred, am I wrong in saying that I think he had more of an ability under the old nuclear deal that, that we pulled out of to accelerate his, his uh, quest to get a nuclear weapon there in, in Iran than they did out of, with us out of this deal? Because we had heavy sanctions on them. They weren't getting the money they needed to pursue this stuff. Right or wrong? I think that's right. The nuclear deal allowed Iran to continue to enrich uranium with over 5,000 centrifuges, to develop a reactor that would be a source of plutonium, to develop advanced uranium centrifuges. That is, the nuclear program was proceeding legally while the deal was in effect. And even as 
good a deal as this was. Iran was still cheating on it, massively cheating on it. And that's something the left does not want to admit to, and the Biden administration won't face. My hope is they'll look at how bad this is, and they will face it, and they will not return to this deal, but I'm not optimistic. Yeah, I'm not optimistic either. And, and Dr. Gorky, you know, people at home need to realize Iran is funding groups like Hezbollah. They've made no bones about wanting to blow Israel off the face of the earth, and they'd blow us off the face of the earth if they ha had a missile that could reach us. This is serious business for our own safety here at home, is it not? No, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Without a question of a doubt. So let's be clear. The JCPO Iran deal, Obama's original deal, didn't stop Iran getting nukes. It delayed them at the same time that it gave billions of dollars to a regime, a regime that every Friday from the mosque in the official statements says they must destroy the greatest Satan, which is us, and the lesser Satan, which is Israel. And at the end of the day, if you, if you, Grant, gave 50 bucks to a terrorist organization today, you could be arrested for what is the felony of material support to terrorism. The Obama administration gave them $140 billion. They sponsored the largest terrorist sponsoring regime in the world. And that is the only way we have to understand what they're doing right now. Yeah. And last I checked, the leader of Iran still has a Twitter account and, and former President Trump no yeah. longer does. Uh, it is about as backwards as it absolutely gets. Sebastian Gorka, Fred Flights, as always to the both of you, thanks for coming on tonight. Good to be here. Thanks, guys. All right.